So it is cold and it is morning and I don't like either of those things. And to make matters worse, I go to get my wallet this morning, only find that I left it in the car last night. Fine, I'll go out to the car and get it. Only one of the other brothers took the car to go to the gym. So I asked one of the brothers to drive me to the gym to unlock the car to get the wallet, only to find that he had already left and his phone was off. So now I'm here and I think I'm not gonna be late. We'll see. So I made it to Cleveland without a whole lot of drama. Josh, the faithful seminarian here, picked me up, drove around town, got some wonderful Polish food at so Sokolowski's. I ate way too much. Um, and my first takeaway is who knew that Cleveland was so cool? Really cool downtown. It's incredibly cold, but yeah, kind of a cool city. Looking forward to exploring it. So I guess I should explain why I'm in Cleveland in January, because it's certainly not because of the weather. As is becoming routine these days, I get invites to come speak at parishes, either in a mission form or talking to schools, and this week I was asked to give a talk on developing good habits in the new year, you know, because of the pun of the habit. And so I get to talk at the masses this weekend, but I'm also speaking to the schools, elementary school and uh, high school, and also speaking in another parish, how to develop good habits in the new year. Hi guys. Hi. Did you guys <laughs> but she calls me, she's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so say hi to everyone. Hi! <laughs> Shouldn't you be in class? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Kids these days. Hello. Mrs. Brosick, have you met Brother Casey? No, hi, I'm Michelle. Nice to meet nice you. To Pleasure. Meet you. Pleasure. Her daughter, Taylor. Popcorn. Ooh. So I told them if they were really quiet, they could get in the YouTube video. They've done all right, so I guess we'll let them in. So say hi. I And if you want to be a great athlete, what do you got to do? You got to practice, right? You have to form good habits, yeah? You got to practice, you got to form good habits. And they say it takes 21 days to form a good habit, yes? Brother Casey Cole's back here, he's a little slow. It took him four years to get into the habit, but now he is a Franciscan. That's really true, right? That's good play on lines, right? It's really true. Brother Casey is with us today, and we invited him to come today at this point because early in January, all of us make resolutions, yes? And by this point of January, all of us have stopped following them, yes? Absolutely. And so, Brother Casey's with us today. He has developed a really good social media ministry, and he's going to talk to us today a little bit about forming good habits. Brother Casey Cole.
All right, all right, so that's four down, one to go. It has been quite a morning. Preached at all four masses, the 7.30, the 9, the 10.30, now the 12. And I'm exhausted and I'm hungry, so I am going back to the rectory. Let me fix that. Going back to the rectory to get some food, probably take a nap, watch some football back again at five to give another homily. All right, all rested, ready to get back. We got our fifth mass of the day. I'm ready to finish this up. Very excited, it's teen mass. And we've got a teen event afterwards, so let's get at it. Gosh, there are a lot of people here. I don't like teenagers. What's wrong with you? There are too many of you. Oh my gosh. So apparently everyone's freaking out because there's not enough pizza. Because they don't normally expect this many, but a number of people haven't been coming for a while. So they just got letters saying you need to come to a certain number or you don't finish the program. So they all showed up at the same time. We need more pizza. <laughs> So the one of the coolest things about France is you may know that some in the back have already seen this. We wear this thing called a habit. And this habit has a lot of secret pockets. Do you know about the secret pockets? Yes. Some, some do, so I'll share. So we've got the side pockets, you know, so everyone's got those. Those are, those are kind of boring. But we've got this pocket here. We've got this pocket here. There's nothing in there. We've got down here, I got a pen. <laughs> I've got cards, and what's in here, the lens cap, because why not? So, Franciscans wear this, it's called a habit. Pulled it out of here, I said, where'd it go? I said, you should be in the magic show. Sometimes it takes the simplest thing to amaze people. So I'm in a high school. High school. I haven't been in high school since I was in high school. And I haven't been cool ever in high school, so I hope they think I'm cool. Well, part one of the tour is done. I'm back in Chicago for five days in Cleveland. It has been amazing, very hard work, lots of fun. I preached at six masses, gave five 30-minute talks. I was just on all weekend. And now it's back to the grind. I'm here in Chicago getting a bus to go to class because I've got class in about an hour. And then it's uh, start again. But man, what a, what a wonderful time. I wouldn't trade these for anything. It's really what I, I love to do. I love to speak in front of people. I love to talk, love to preach. And the people were just fantastic. I really enjoyed Cleveland. I love the parish. Just, just a wonderful place. The pastor was amazing. Seminary and the walking around, Josh was great. All the parishes, the students, wonderful school so all in all a great trip excited to be back and now we gotta get back after it thank you ah i made it sort of it's drizzling now there was real question i wasn't going to make it on time i got about five minutes to get to class Ooh, it's ugly i'm not happy to be back into this there she is so this is what brothers are for. I open up the locker, I'm gonna put my stuff in, and look what my brother put for me. Yeah, haven't eaten yet today, and he thought of that. How wonderful. The brothers are fantastic. At this point in the video, you might be asking yourself many questions. Are we back at the airport or is this a flashback? What day of the week is it? I've completely lost track of time. Where is Brother Casey going this time? I realized as I was editing the first half of the video this morning that I kind of left some holes. My storytelling isn't that great yet, so you might be a little confused. So let's backtrack a bit and I'll explain. This video started last week on Thursday as I flew to Cleveland for the mission. I was there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Monday morning I flew back to class here in Chicago. My flight on Monday was at 11 a.m., which got me back just in time for my 1 o'clock class, then again for my 7 o'clock class, only to be repeated again on Tuesday, a 9 o'clock class, 7 o'clock class, all four being three hours long. Now it's Wednesday afternoon and I am back at Chicago Midway to go to another flight, this time to Cincinnati, where I'll be there until Friday. Unlike last week where I went to a parish to preach a mission, this week I'm going to Franciscan Media headquarters in Cincinnati, where I'll be recording the audio for my new book, 
called What Happens After Saying Yes to God and doing some interviews for some press releases. If this video seems long, just imagine how long my week has been. Sometimes the medium is the message and this is the best way to tell the story. Well, that was fun. We got here about 20 minutes early, but then had to taxi for about 40 minutes. So it just teaches you to never be early, right? No, always be early, it's good. With all that extra time though, it gave me the opportunity to realize that I don't actually know who's picking me up. I mean, I know their names and I've talked to them before, but I've never actually met them. So I don't know how I'm gonna find them, but here goes nothing. I mean, having the habit helps. Maybe they'll find me. We're looking for a black or blue SUV. There's still some confusion. I see someone waving to me. Thank you very much. I didn't have time to get my coat out, but it's not too bad. Not so bad. Yeah, thank you. All right, thanks. Hello. Hey, how are you? Great. Excellent. Thank you for having me. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. Yeah, first time here. I'm Tim, by the way. I, I use Tom's exclusive. Thank you, yes, Casey. <laughs> I, I, I know you're Casey. <laughs> Here's what we have. This is like the best guest area in the entire order. Oh my gosh. So here's a, here's a room here. Whew, it's good to be sitting down. Just got back from dinner, went out to pizza with the president, the online director, and my editor. Great to finally get to meet them. It's so weird. I've been working with them since about January of last year, and it's actually the first time I've seen them face to face. I didn't actually even know what all of them looked like, but it's great to have a chance to talk, to relax, and it is good to finally just be sitting down and relax with no one around and nothing to do. I've been filming, I've been traveling, been on my feet for about six or seven hours today, going through the airport, on the bus, out to dinner, and now I can just be me. I'm in the, the suite. Ooh, the suite of the friary, so I have a little bathroom to the side, so feeling a lap of luxury here. Just gonna take a little easy, do some reading, do some video editing. It's funny, I was thinking about being a little more casual for this part of the video, especially, you know, this time of night. It's not exactly comfortably in this. Usually wear sweatpants, sweatshirt, be, you know, relaxed for the video. And I realized I packed so lightly that I just forgot all that stuff. So I'm gonna wear my habit the whole time. I've got a pair of jeans and a, a nice shirt if we go out somewhere else. But I'm basically gonna be wearing this the whole time and I've got nothing to change into at night. Oops, I guess you can pack a little too lightly. But it was great, very easy to get here, and now I gotta get to work. Oh, mornings, here we are. So the fun thing is that uh, I was shown my room last night, but we never actually walked around, so I don't know where I am. So I'm just kinda wandering the halls looking for the dining room and the chapel. Jackpot. Sort of. Donuts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Use this how you did sure. or whatever you would like to do just so we're consistent between.
It is now 4.30. I read about 112 pages today. It was not fun, and we are not done. We will be back here tomorrow. Please pray for me. So, yeah, really, that was one of the longest days of my life. I'm really proud that we got over 100 pages done, but now I'm exhausted, and I can't go to dinner right now. I need a nap first, so excuse me. All right, time to be fraternal. As much as I'd love to sleep the rest of the night, I committed to these brothers. I should go see them. I met a lot of people. Yes. Hi. Nice to meet you. And they, and they oh, help and me you're all for it. Thanks a lot. What are you, 84 now? I feel. How do you deal with these men? Just stay busy. <laughs> yes. It's real Never easy. a dull moment. It's real easy. Just do what they say. <laughs> oh, no. Easy. I don't Girl. believe that for a second. Girl. Yes. When did you ever do what I said? I know. <laughs> when did you ever do what That's I said? That's the best way to get along. <laughs> All of them do what they say, including this one. Including that one? Yes. So here we are. It's about 7 o'clock on Thursday night. More than a week has passed since the start of this video. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm done. I'm done with this video. I'm done with this week. I know there are more things to do. I've got to write some scripts, edit this video. i got to be back in the studio tomorrow to finish up the book and fly back to Chicago. But you know what? There's only so much you can fit. There's always one more thing. There's always the next thing to do. I don't have a great sign-off or closing for this video, and I want to keep it short to save my voice. Got to be back in the studio tomorrow. But I'll leave you with this. This week has been crazy. Probably the craziest of my entire life. By the end of it all, I've been on four flights, given five talks, preached at six masses, six hours of audio today, reading 112 books, I've met so many people, gone here, gone there, not slept a lot, worked a lot, just ridiculous. And yet, something about this just seems right. Something about this is exactly what I signed up for. As a Franciscan friar, I'm an itinerant. I'm a preacher, I'm an evangelizer. I'm supposed to be social and meet people where they are. And in some ways, this is exactly what I'm doing. And I'm so blessed to be able to travel to these places and have fraternity when I go. I don't go alone. It's not all about me. Right now, I'm staying in a friary with brothers who love and respect and support me even though we've never met. There's something truly fantastic about it and it's no wonder that so many people are inspired by this life. I hope this video hasn't been too long for you, but rather a glimpse into the wonderful and crazy life that we live. Maybe, just maybe, you might be called to do just the same one day. <laughs>